Well, here we are, Florida for Funshine, and there you are uh, looking at one of our videos. We thank you for being here. We ask you to subscribe and remember the thumbs up and all those good things, your notification. We do have a lot of videos and one might help you. We do a lot of um, videos on the Yamaha HPDI. This particular one is 200 horsepower, and we're looking at the tilt trim motor. It is not working and uh, the switch on the side of the motor does not uh, engage and also the switch at the helm so just check make sure your batteries are fully charged and let's look at what where to start uh, to diagnose it the tilt trim delay it can be the tilt motor uh, but you need to troubleshoot it before you go ahead and, ch and change a motor thinking that it is because the relay is the most common problem that these motors have uh, you're going to need a phillips hex screwdriver and a 10 millimeter socket in order to do this troubleshooting and again this is a repeat video due to demands that the audio on the last videos were not good enough and i would like to make sure that uh, we give you um you know a good um audio so you can uh, do the job yourself now we removed the cover to expose the relay and there's the relay that's the important part of this um, tilt trim that usually is what goes bad you have um, different colors you want to test the relay to make sure that is not the tilt motor so you have cables here you have blue green red and black we're going to remove them and we're going to go ahead and test the relay to see that it is uh, in fact working correctly they're attached the 10 millimeter is used to remove it now this is important because a lot of people have told me that this you know they cannot do it it, it can be done turn make sure your battery is on and you're gonna touch the green wire with the red wire and if the motor is good, your trim should go down because the green wire is for down and the red wire is the power. You're gonna leave the black one attached. So green is for down and then blue will be for up. So if you remember blue sky, green grass, or however you wanna remember it, the trim down in this one is good so far. The motor works. So I attach the wire back and now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the blue wire, which is up, and I'm going to touch it with the red wire. As you can see here, I'm going to touch it, bang, and the trim goes up. So the blue wire touching the red wire, the trim goes up or the motor goes up. I just say the trim is good. Motor is good. This tells me that the relay is not providing the power to the motor to remove it easily 10 milli 10 millimeters is the uh, key um, socket here to remove now the black wire the red wire I think those are the ones that are left here and remove the relay from the base of the motor there where it is attached once you do that then obviously you would order the relay now uh, I will look in different places to find the relay uh, brand new they're very expensive and they can go up to 180 I believe 160 dollars when I research all this now remember to disconnect the battery while you're you're going to be doing this okay now the green blue black and red connection as I stated need to be removed in order to get that relay out so as soon as you do that you pull the relay out now you can look at ebay um, and i believe in ebay you may find a used uh, relay and you can take a chance they can go i purchased mines uh for 45 dollars on ebay and that's been a while and it's still working uh perfectly the tilt trim is so uh, i mean you know it's a hit or miss uh, if you want to take that chance or if you want to spend the um, the, um, the amount on a new one, that's fine. You know, everybody makes their choices. I chose in my particular case to um, buy a used one and it worked out for me. So I'm going to just keep um, 
the video here so you can see where and how I removed this relay. Relatively easy. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, as far as how the difficulty, I would say this may fall into a 5. There's a clip, a wire clip, a two wire clip that you need to remove from the motor and the relay. That way that you can pull the uh, relay out. As you can see here, it's a little clip. It's two, uh, two connectors there. And once you remove that, uh, you'll be able to pull the relay out. That's two um, 10 millimeter screws that mount uh, the relay to the motor and you just remove them out there. That's what it looks like. Just put them somewhere that you don't lose them. And if you lose them, remember, you know, if you're going to replace them at 10 millimeters and you need to, to check the, one of them and, and get them stainless steel. I mean, you know, why not? So there's the, the last one here that I'm removing. And here we go. Let's see if I can. There is the other one. And there's the relay. So the relay is out. Now it's time uh, to order a relay for this tilt trim. Remember you the, to specify what motor it is, HPDI, if it is, or if it's another motor to go ahead and, and, and order it. Now the relay is out. And just like that, I got the, uh, the one that I order in. And like I told you before, this was a used uh, relay that I found uh, I believe it was on eBay and uh, paid $45 for the relay and I'll show you here it looked that you know it didn't look that it was um, in bad shape at least statically it looked fine um, and you will see that you know it, it did work it, it's uh it was perfectly fine as far as the uh the condition electronically at least for, from, from from that point till now because i still have that same relay on the motor and it's still working uh fine so now the whole process is to reinstall it uh i guess in reverse or whichever way that you install it if you have a problem with uh or you don't want to keep coming back to the um, to the video to check where what goes um i always recommend taking a picture when you remove something from a motor or, or whatever it is that you remove that, that you know has wires and plugs and all this and that uh you take a picture of it and you can always refer to the picture on your phone or in a camera that way you can know exactly uh where it belongs so here I go, I'm going to mount the, um, the relay, as you can see, it's uh, ready for to be mountain, mounted. And it will go in the way it needs to go in. What I mean by that, it's, it's not really, a, there's no wrong way to mount it because it, it, it won't, will only mount in the way that it's supposed to mount because you have to align the two um, holes for the two screws that will attach it to the motor and again this is 10 millimeter so at this point I'm attaching the um, the relay to the motor okay so And again, one of the things about doing something like this, it's it's not difficult. I will tell you that, that this is very easy. The, I guess the most difficult part of this uh, project will be to determine uh, with certainty if it is in fact the relay. And you know, I the test that I did to check the relay uh proved to be that it was the relay so that's why i replaced it i was very confident that that was the problem because if it worked when it was put in direct connection to the um downside of the motor and the upside of the motor 
and it worked that means that the motor was working it just was not receiving power uh, from the relay to the motor okay so what I, I sped this up uh, just to show you the uh, reattachment of the relay so I figure that you know once you see how you take it apart you should be able to put it back together again um, barring that you took a picture if you took a picture the same thing you'll be able to put it back so I'm just um, this is a sped up version of me reattaching the um, relay to the motor.